Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? It's real fucking hot out today. Uh, this is like my second shirt, and it's only 1040. Um, you know, I, I want to talk to you guys, man, about a couple things, man. Um, you know, I, I've done... I've been in the preservation business three years, going on four. And for the past two, two years, I've been... I, I, I fucked up with um with uh on how I, I go about business and how I take on work. You know, um at the beginning of the season I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking blow up this year, blah 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 blah. So I take on all these extra clients, right? And I have the people in place. But the thing is that you know um it's hard for me to to keep people because you know i get real mad because the work they perform it's real shitty work you know they don't take pride into what they do and and then and and what happens with that is that that it, it trickles down you know what i mean and my clients see the pictures the quality of work it's real shitty and blah 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 you know given that some of these properties we go to are a fucking mess you know they are dis like disaster zones man you know, some of these houses are just beyond repairable. And, and um, but you, when you do work, you do it to the best of your abilities and you and, you, and you, you do a good job always. And I couldn't find people to do that. You know, I've sent guys to do certain things and they just can't get it. Like they can't get the message, you know, like if I don't get paid, you're not getting paid. You know what I mean? And um, they just don't understand how serious this is. And, he, you know, and I'm doing background checks. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know, to see if, you know, to, to show them that this is serious, man. I like the way he got his little thing. I got another pickup truck. You see that truck? I got another pickup truck. I'm, a, I'm a, just like that. But it's, uh, I think it's a GNC. I don't know. I bought it. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> but, um. Uh, where was that, man? Man, listen, man. It's just a bunch of shit that could go right, but it's not going right. You know, everything and anything that could go wrong is going wrong. Um, you know, I, I, I've done background checks on a couple of guys. You know, you know, yeah, they they clean on paper, but you know, in reality, man, these people that I've hired so far are a bunch of fucking idiots. You know, they, they, they're druggies and, um, you know, and they just care about one thing, man. And that's getting their money so they could go get high and they don't give a fuck about my bottom line. So right now I am a solo operation. You know, I'm doing everything alone. I all I, 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 I think I eliminated all my clients. I'm only dealing with one new client. Yeah, he pays on the low end, but. You know, he's keeping me busy. He's giving me bigger jobs versus uh, two nationals that I was fucking with. Um, you know, they one national nickel, nickel and dimes the fucking shit out of me. A bunch of chargebacks. And then they can't keep me busy. And then when they give me grass cuts, it's two weeks away. I can't even get to it. So, you know, I, I had to drop them. You know, I had to get rid of them. Um... I, I did all their work. I got it out of the way. Now, you know, it's time for me to just focus on this one client. You know, they're fairly new. They 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 have le they're, they're less than a year old, and they and they got it popping. Meaning with work, they got they they're super busy with work. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use them to build myself back up. You know, I'm gonna use them to 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 to, to get to where I need to get to. You know, I got other things going on. Like, um, for instance, the lawn care landscaping thing, I got that, you know, um, going on. I got a couple of clients. I've done some work already, and some of the clients were very happy, and, uh, you know, and, and, it's, and it's turning out to be pretty good now, you know, but um, I, I just need to be more money, uh, bring in more money, um, and it's hard to do that with a solo operation, you know. Um, I really, really want to, to, to have this business succeed you know um and it's tough man when you got people that won't pay you on time it's tough when 
when you're trying your hardest and all the client can do is man, bring all, all, my old clients can do is bring up old shit like knowing that you know you know what I'm not even gonna justify why the work was fucked up yeah I sent other people to do the work but at the end of the day I am responsible for it as the business owner you know and it's you know and it's tough because you know my name is tarnished already you know before man I was out there I was a fucking go-getter man I woke up every day in the morning I did my thing I did my thing from sun up to sun down and um you know and I really broke my back man I really did what I had to do and you know uh, these other people that I hired did not see my sacrifice did not see my hard work you know did not see what I was going through man did not see all the fucking troubles that I went through in order to get the business going they didn't give a fuck about any of that man and, and, and some of these people I expected a lot more from because they were family members you know and all this other shit you know but you know, uh, but a uh, lesson learned, I swear to fucking God, I am never, ever helping anybody out again. I don't care if it's my ex-wife. I don't care if it's my, 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 not, you know, not even my, my cousin, my sisters. I'm not helping nobody because I'm in a rough spot right now. My account has $120 minus the coffee that I bought. Has $120. And all I've done, all I've done was take away from it, um, take away from my, my, my lady, take away from my kids in order to help other people out. You know, I, I didn't help them out like, let's, uh, you know, how can I say this? You know, I extended an, uh, uh, an arm out, you know, and I had the whole fucking shoulder just ripped right the fuck off. You know, and that's because I was just trying to be nice. I was trying to be, you know, trying to help people out. But it, what, here I am in the worst situation possible. And there's no one there for me. So fuck it. You know what? I'm going to do the same shit, you know. And I want people to know that don't, you know, fuck you. Don't fucking call me. But, you know, whatever. You know, it's a lesson learned, you know, um... It's tough, though, man, being a small business and being a, a, a owner-operator. You know, I want to do good. I want things to go great. But, you know, there's always issues. There's always problems coming back after back. You know, back, you know, problems after problems after problems after problems. And, and it's to the point where it's beyond exhausting. It is draining the fucking life out of me. It is taking its toll on my relationship with my lady. It is taking its toll with my relationship with my kids. And it shouldn't be this way. It should not be this way. And it really sucks because I let it get this way. I let it go this far. Instead of dropping the hammer, saying, nope, no more. I did not do anything. You know, I just basically was like, fuck it. What can I do? Nah, what can I do? What will I do to change it? That's a new thing for me now, you know? Um, I'm just not going the extra mile for anybody anymore. No more. Um, you know, I got I got some work, you know, coming in in the next couple of weeks on, uh, on the landscaping side. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I can manage the rest of the season on my own. You know, I got this vehicle, which she's always giving me trouble. She has, She's giving me transmission issues now. I got another vehicle that just needs to be put on the road. And I got another vehicle just needs to be on the road. And the van needs major work. Um, after I just put a transmission and engine into it, it still needs major work. And, I, and I'm suffering, man. I'm, I'm doing, I'm working hard to change that. But, you know, in time, things will change. If I wanted that much, if I needed that much, you know, but I'm going to do my thing. But um, I'm just sharing you. I'm just giving you guys uh, an update on what's going on in my life. Um, hopefully you guys can learn from this, you know, and use it to your advantage. But if anybody has any questions, any comments, please leave them. You know, I'm still working on my, my, um, on my, uh, what you call it, on my proven system um, to, to, uh, you know, I, I'm still trying to come up with the, the, the actual formula that's going to help me in my business, you know, and, um, you know, I think an, an opportunity arose to where, 
um, I'm going to take someone up on the offer. Um, I'm going to be shooting down to Florida probably in September or something like that. Once school starts, um, I'm going to shoot down there. I'm going to meet up with the guy. And um, his name is Brett Douglas. He has uh, Ironclad Preservation and a couple of other businesses that sprung out of the preservation thing. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, um, but to, you know, to the people that, 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 that really took a dump on me, watch and learn, man, watch and learn, you know, but it's all good, man. And to you nationals out there ripping people off, you know, don't worry, you know, we, we're slowly but surely uniting and, um, you guys are going to have your hands full, man. Once people stop fucking with your company, period, and, you, and your client drops you, and they start fucking with the little guys versus the big guys, you know. Because I think the little guys are more and more important. The laborers are more important than you big guys out there. Um, the bigger companies. Anyway, your regionals and shit, you know. But, um, yeah, hard work, man. I, I The only way I'm going to get out of this situation is if I just work really hard and, and just overcome this adversity and learn as much as I can from it and absorb it in a positive way. You know, there's no point of getting angry anymore um, or being frustrated and all this other shit. You know, fuck that. For that, for, I'm just going to absorb it, breathe in, breathe out, and learn from it and use it to my advantage and, and say, what can I do differently? Like, it took two years in a row to learn that I should not take on more work than what I can handle. Um, you know, especially when I was just trying to grow the business. Um, I shouldn't have never done that. I would have never been in the pred pred predicament I am in today. I should have never put family members to work because I knew what they were about. And still today, they're doing the same shit they were doing three years ago, 14, you know, e even when we were kids, you know, they're still up to the same shit, sleeping on floors and on other people's couches. Not this guy, man. I got too much pride and I got too much respect for myself. Um, to be doing anything other than trying to protect, um, you know, promote and preserve my way of living, which is a positive living. You know, I can't be doing drugs and all that other dumb shit. You know, that shit leads to nowhere. And um, you, to you, thirty fucking something years old, thinking you're still teenagers, getting high and shit. Wake the fuck up, man. Go out there and get a job. You know, or create something that you can be proud of, and create something that your children can be proud of, versus blaming the world for your problems the only problem you know but once you fix that your life was set but that's the only advice you're getting from me you know anyway guys i'm just sharing with you guys what's going on with me if anybody has any questions any comments please leave them um to my subscribers thank you um stressful man i got a lot going on i got something huge in the works still in the works uh me and my boy uh gerald we we would you know we're gonna start doing something. He's already laying in the foundation for for what what what, what we're working on, and um, you know he's doing his thing. And he's been a huge motivator in, in 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 my hard times, man. This guy has my back, and I appreciate that. Not many people out there like that to help one another out, man. But anyway, man, um, you know, stay positive, stay focused, and if something's not working, change it and make it make it work. All right. Anyway, I got to go. I got to lo load up the the other mower. I got a huge grass cut to do, and I'm working alone. So I'm dropping one mower off, and I'm loading up another one. I'll make a video once I get over there. Anyway, as always, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace.